Okay, so it's been a while. I want to record a video because it's been a while, I already said that. Uh, so today I want to answer the question that everybody has asked once before. Will we ever run out of QR codes? I know you asked this question before. I've certainly asked this question before. So I thought in this video, we would try and answer it. So starting off, what is a QR code? QR code is a form of barcode that uses pixels in order to encode a message. Generally, QR codes are just a matrix of black and white pixels that can encode text messages in them. One interesting thing I want to figure out about a QR code is, well, how many different QR codes can you have? Like, will we ever run out of QR codes? Well, if you want to answer that question just straight up, technically the answer is no. Well, because you can always keep adding pixels to the QR code, but by definition, QR codes can have anywhere from 21 by 21 pixels to 177 by 177 pixels. So we'll take that upper bound as our maximum. If you multiply 177 by 177, you get 31,329. And uh, in order to calculate how many different QR codes we could get, we need to talk about what exponentiation is. If you don't know, an exponent is like three to the power of four would be three times three times three times three. It's basically three multiplying itself four times. That's exponentiation. Now, when you have something like a QR code where every single cell is in the best case scenario, individual from every other cell, you need to account for every single cell being either black or white. The way you calculate this for smaller numbers is pretty simple. So for example, for one cell, you have two different states that it could be in. For two cells, you have each cell having two states that it could be in. So it's a total of four different combinations for those two cells. If you have three cells, each cell has two different combinations. And if you do it all out, you'll find that there are eight different combinations for those three cells combined. If you were to actually plot this on a graph, you'd find that it follows the graph of two to the power of n, uh, n being the number of cells. So how many Whatever cells that you have, if each cell can have a black or white state, then the number of states of that total thing is two to the power of that number. And you can already see on such a small scale how these numbers get way bigger. Like these combinations get so much bigger than the number of units that they come from. Our QR code, our max size QR code, 177 by 177, that is 31,329 different cells, which each cell having two different states in it. So the total would be two to the power of 31,329 cells. And so that is a number on a scale that you can't even like you can't even you can't even imagine it in your head it's you just can't it's just too big that's what she said <clears throat> there really isn't an easy way to visualize this number but this is my best attempt basically the amount of digits in any given number is 10 to the power of something equals that number so 10 to the power of 5 gives you a five digit number 10 to the power of 20 gives you a 20 digit number. For reference, the number of atoms in our entire universe is 10 to the power of 80, which is a rough estimate, but it's somewhere around there. That means that there is 80 digits in the number that expresses how many atoms there are in the entire universe. Now, remember how tiny atoms are. They are the fundamental building block of our universe, not according to quantum mechanics, but you know, in most physics and everything, atoms are the fundamental element, and there are only 10 to the power of 80 of them in the universe. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a huge, 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 huge number. But the reason I say only is because the number of different QR codes that you can create is 10 to the power of 9,430. This number has 9,430 digits in it, which means, like I said, there isn't really a great way to demonstrate this, but basically in order to express this number, imagine every single universe being an atom in an even larger universe. Even then, 
if you counted every single universe in that super universe, you still would not have enough atoms to fit this number. That is absolutely crazy. So the answer to the question, will we ever run out of QR codes? The answer to the question is no. We will never run out of QR codes. We can use as many as we want and we will never run out of QR codes. That is something that I can say with 100% accuracy. I think this is really, really interesting. It's crazy how just something so simple that is so low resolution you can see the pixels on it and small enough that it can fit on a fingernail is so complex that it is larger than the universe itself thanks for watching